hello hello everyone how are you hope you're having a beautiful and awesome day and i hope you are looking for a peaceful and restful weekend blessings to you and your family always remember you see if you're a giver remember to know your limits as a giver because the takers don't have any limits and will take you for all you have got so for a bit of update and more information on the murder of Simone Collymore, a woman that was marked for a death by her very own husband, Omar Collymore. So Omar, along with the hitmen he contracted to kill her, are presently in lockup and are on trial as their trial are going on right now. Now there is more evidence being presented to the court as they are connecting the dot to outline exactly what took place so call records and cell site information are being revealed and it shows where murder accused omar collimore was in constant communication with the hitmen he contracted to take out his wife Simone Collymore. On the day Simone was taken out, Omar and the three men, Michael Adams, Dwayne Pink, Shaquilla Edwards, who are presently on trial with him for the January 2nd, 2018 murder, where Simone was shot and killed along with her taxi driver, Winston Walters, on Stanley Terrace in Red Hill St. Andrew. A forensic expert attached to the Constabular Communication Forensic and Cybercrime Division CFCD gave testimony on the analysis of mobile phone numbers and their activities where the connection to the defendants and the deceased Simone Campbell Collimore and Winston Walters are being shown. The witness said he also assessed a number attribute to one of the shooters known only as Jim. The court was previously told that Jim was the leader of the Brook Valley Unruly Gang in St. Andrew. He is reported to have been shot and killed by the police in a shootout. So the call records show that on the day Simone was killed, Omar her husband number called her at 3 29 pm at that time cell site information placed simone and her taxi driver walters in downtown kingston area while cell site information placed her husband omar location at the couple's house in red hills area just a minute after calling his wife call data information shows omar calling the number of michael abraham otherwise called crab boss the contract hitman he hired to take out his wife simone Callimore, on the day she was murdered simone was shot and killed along with the taxi driver walters as soon as she drove up to the family home to pick up her children from Callimore at the family residence stanley terrace radios cell site information also placed adams in the downtown kingston region at the same time simone was downtown kingston as well but when jim called adams cell information was now in upper radios right near where the crime scene was it would have seemed that adams was moving out of downtown following simone because he sent a license plate number to Jim while moving from downtown Kingston towards Maxfield Avenue in St. Andrew, then later in at Red Hills Road. By then, Jim, who Adam sent the license plate number to at around 3.45 to around 3.50, the timing of the takeout of Simone Callimore. His phone information placed him near the scene where the crime was committed. 
right then and there there was more than three calls from jim to adam during that time frame jim's phone was still being picked up by the upper radio's cell site while adam was nearby pinging off both the pembroke exchange and upper radio's road cell towers now based on the cell site the forensic expert believed the men were by then close to each other the prosecutor then presented the video in court of the shooting with a timestamp of 3 59 pm call records further show that several calls were made between adam and jim after the incident as it was shown on the cell site information and it also shows that there were on the move after the shooting then at 407 data indicated that adam's attempt to call omar collimore and the north cherry garden cell site era pick up that information by 4 10 pm there was six attempted call to adams from omar collimore then the last call between Adam and Jim boatmen were using the Washington Exchange cell tower. That would suggest that they are near to each other. While there was continued communication between Adams, Dwayne Pink, and Shaquille Edwards on the day Simone was killed, the postmortem reveals that Simone was shot 19 times. Walters, her taxi driver, was shot five times. While telephone call data information shows that Omar Collimore made calls to the hitmen he contracted to take out his wife 1,095 times between December 2012 and March 2018. While Adams contacted Omar 797 times. While the evidence was being given in court, a video of the deadly gun attack was shown in the home circuit court as there were cameras located at the front of the gate of the apartment and the guardhouse area of the apartment complex. The video showed that sometime around 3 p.m. a blue motor car which Simone and the taxi driver were traveling in stopped at the entrance to the complex right there two motorcycles each carrying two men were seen traveling a short distance behind the car two pillions from motorcycle were seen running towards the car opening fire then they opened the car door and pumped a few more shots into the car the vehicle rolled into the complex and overturned the two gunmen ran up to the vehicle and take a bag from the car before fleeing. Omar Collimore could be heard in the courtroom sniffling loudly. He was seen with his head bowed and his hands covering his eyes as if overcome with emotions. That man the only emotion he's overwhelmed with is being caught by the police because after he was arrested at the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston when he tried to leave the island after the killing. He was later released from custody. Then soon after he was arrested at a guest house in St. Elizabeth where he was making arrangement to illegally leave the island by boat. But somehow the situation to get that done fall through something went wrong so him never get to leave yet before the police caught him there's no way around him being guilty but if you're not guilty why you are on so it was later revealed that he along with the two children were the beneficiary of a 120 million life insurance policy Collimore was born in Barbados. According to one of the hitmen, Wade Blackwood, who was sentenced, there was a hit on Simone Collimore before, but he called off the attempt after he saw Simone Collimore 
as he had an attack of conscience. I imagine it could have been my mother or my sister, he testified. Cell phone records also show where Collymore would often call his wife Simone, then after he would call the contracted hitman Adam in the next minute. So it would seem he would call his wife Simone and find out her whereabouts and then he would call the hitman so he would make sure they have enough information for when they're ready to do the hit as I guess there was no specific place they wanted it done but maybe many of the times it was not convenient to do so all I know this man Omar was determined to take out his wife Simone because through all this he had a long-standing side chick for three years you know whom he went into business with and he was paying her rent also he keep promising her he soon divorce his wife and will be waking up beside her in the mornings the thing is this side woman a gym instructor don't realize that she would have been the next victim as his wife simone was not the first victim he omar collimore had done this before in the usa and did the same thing all for the insurance money omar collimore had a girlfriend who was shot dead in fort lauderdale her killer was never charged but the police there always consider omar collimore as a person of interest now the fort lauderdale detectives are working with jamaican authorities to solve their own long-standing cold case as now the two slain women that are connected to omar Callimore, and there are several similarities said tracy figon the fort lauderdale detective apart from the fact that both women were romantically linked to Callimore, both women had life insurance policies listing Callimore as the beneficiary according to the Boward County records and relatives and for years Callimore has been a person of interest in the slain of Angela Aguilar then she was 38 years old she was killed 3 30 a.m the couple were on their way to a downtown bar to meet friends as they got out of their truck on northwest and second avenue just west of the county bus terminal an assailant approached the pair shot aguilar in the head and chest omar collimore then told the police that when he saw the gun he darted away and took cover and was not hurt is it a lucky guy or is it luck aguilar was a real estate agent and had bought a one million life insurance policy about a month before she was killed the court records show aguilar's son who was 17 at the time has been waiting for justice for his mother's killing and he still feels numb over a decade later as he know no matter what it won't bring back his mother as he feels a part of him has died when his mother died now in jamaica it is the same harsh reality for simone campbell collimore children as she has left behind a seven-year-old daughter and a five-year-old son simone's sister kishane baumer says the children still wonder where their mother is and they have to remain vigilant as a family for any signs of depression coming from the children while the family is continuing to grieve now you see why i always say nothing is as it seems especially these days you have to investigate your man or woman if you are serious about them and find out their background don't believe that you're so special that what they done before to another woman it won't happen to you or they won't do it to you the only way you may escape in many cases is maybe because they might be too old 
to do the same things that they were doing when they were younger or just maybe now he finds a partner that is no pushover and may have the same thinking as he has so there's no getting around this partner don't be fooled by love listen well you may hear your own red flags by just listening well because that is what is there to guide you charms and good looks and sweet talk don't let it close off your brain from thinking and this goes for both male and females because people pretend well and to think use this man as an example Simone Collymore was marked for death from the beginning when Omar Collymore met her and he played it out to the end. Can you imagine you sleep in the same bed with the person every night looking in them face, making children, making plans to further on a life and all this time this person is just looking at you in terms of money planning that one day they know they're going to take you out to get money compensation for it is a hard pill that to swallow or accept but it is a lot of people's reality but thank god things never totally went as planned as he never get to enjoy the benefit of Simone Campbell Collymore's death. So, young, what a way to die. Death most evil by the hands of the one you love, your husband and father of your children. Sleep in peace, Simone. Gone, but not forgotten. Anyway, guys, please remember to like comment and subscribe to my platform please love you all bye for now